everyone welcome back to my channel i know it's been a bit um been pretty busy with life and conventions and stuff but uh today i want to just do a marker review um i know i'm mostly a digital artist nowadays but i do enjoy working with paints and markers in like a sketchbook from time to time um, a long time ago, in 2017, I did try using Ahuhu markers, but at that time, um, <laughs> I wasn't quite fond of the markers. Uh, they were kind of new, um, and there were some aspects of it that I was a bit critical of, um, mainly to do with some of the ink and the, uh, the shapes of, of like, the the actual tips and everything but as we know products can change just as how people change how everything change life is changing all the time so i wanted to give a uh, new look at what a hoo hoo can bring to the table nowadays um, I actually never made a video reviewing the Ahuhu markers. This was back in 2017, so I didn't really do too much reviews. I did a couple, like, tablet reviews, like, I don't know. I was, just, I was still kind of starting out at the time, and I was trying to use mark- I bought markers because, um, I didn't really have, like, liquid inks or anything, so I actually used them for, like, Inktober stuff, but, um, I never- like I said, I never did a review on them. They did- <laughs> They did get mentioned in another video, um, which, I don't know, you may have watched. I had a video reviewing Copics that I, uh, kind of bought on impulse. It was a $200 purchase. It was just, you know, I always wanted it when I was younger, so I was like, yo, I can just buy it now. Um, so they did make a little cameo there. I wasn't, it wasn't the most, um, flattering. <laughs> cameo. Yes, I know. They're all on the floor. Um, where they belong. Really, they should belong in the trash, but... That is the past, and now is the now, the present, and we have a fine set of markers to kind of look at and see how they've changed uh, in recent years and what they have to bring to the art community now. Here are the markers that I got. I got the 48 set from the Honolulu series. I did look kind of some research on how Ahuhu's um, products are. They have more than just one marker line now. So they have the Honolulu series, the Honolulu B series, Oahu, Oahu series, uh, Kala series, Molokai, and the um, Moko... Uh, mo, mo, mo. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I will look this up later, how to pronounce these. These looks like they're uh, named after Hawaiian islands, so... Mokoyo. The main defining feature of um, each of these series is the kind of brush tips that they offer. So for Honolulu, the normal Honolulu series has one side that's a brush tip and the other that's a chisel tip. While the Honolulu B series has a fine and a brush tip. Oahu has fine and chisel. Um, Kala has slim board and fine. Molokai is just these really big extra wide tips. And the last one was tri nib and chisel. So all sorts of combinations and sizes for different needs. You know, when you're working on a drawing um, you might have really fine detailed parts of the drawing and then you might have really large expansive like areas that you need to fill so um, having those different options is really great um, for artists and I really like that instead of the original um, <laughs> kind of markers that I used like five years ago six oh my gosh has it been six years um, the original set of um, markers I used only had like a chisel tip and like a uh, sort of fine bullet nib tip. Now they do have all these different offerings and I do remember I had mentioned or at least thought at the time that 
they could really do with a brush nib and i am so happy that they now have that so i got the 48 color set similar to perhaps some other marker brands they have different like sub series that you can get um if you don't get the entire um color set so the honolulu series has i think like a total of 320 colors and you can buy them in that full set the 216 the 120 and you have like the 48 um i think there's also one for like 104 like just these different sets of sizes so people who you know are just trying them out or they don't need the entire color set um it, you know you can buy a smaller number of them they also have like um skin tone sets as well um and gray tone things like that you have the basic colors um the one that i have here is the 48 color pastel color set so these are all just going to be very soft, uwu, cute colors. So I'm really excited to try them out and I'm trying to think of what I want to draw with them. So um, when I received this package, it's pretty much exactly like this. It um, came in a box, you know, whatever. I removed the box because who cares about me unboxing that. Um, it wasn't anything like branded, it was just like, you know, the shipping box. <laughs> so um, it comes in this nice little carrying storage case um i don't remember what the original one was like it also came in like a similar case um but um it's nice that this is you know more branded now it has like the ohuhu honolulu series so you, you know exactly what you have here and yep yeah, honolulu 2 model number and i guess i guess let's just get started right let's just get started do a little unzipping here Whew, look at that we have, you know, just a little padding here for safety. We throw that away. <laughs> what is this? If you're coloring on thin paper, please put this pad between your coloring sheets to prevent any bleed through. Oh, that's that's very thoughtful, actually. Um, I bought a marker sketchbook a while back to do some marker drawings, or at least, you know, try to motivate motivate myself to do marker drawings. And it also came with something like this, so I think this is really nice. And then there's also some information stuff. So we have, all right, this little booklet that introduces us to the markers, um, to the different series that they have. So the stuff that I mentioned about the different brush tips, you have like a little mini, like, wheel of like all the colors that i have oh okay awesome and then the colors that come with this set with like the printed color the code for them as well as the like um the name for them as well blending tutorial okay okay we love a tutorial we love being told what to do <laughs> you know no I'm, that's not sarcastic or anything that's like genuinely like it's great for like beginners and like people who just aren't as familiar with markers like i am i've used some but i'm not like a marker guru you know oh and then they also have a faq section like if you have dried out pen what to do if there's bleeding you know basically like hey if there's anything wrong with this reach out to us okay well okay hold on what is this reversible brushed yo what the hold on no need to feel frustrated with the frayed tip after all the distant this distant <laughs> between you and a brand new tip is just a turning okay so it seems like if your brush tip gets worn down a little destroyed you know a little old a little aging um you can just flip it around just take it out turn it around put it back in you got a fresh new tip obviously you can flip it only like one time until you have both sides being um worn but that is an interesting feature now i'm i don't know like how you would do this cleanly because you know you have the ink in the sponge and everything but that is really interesting i never really thought about that i need to look up like if other 
markers do this maybe it's a thing like i don't i don't follow marker trends that much yeah that's like really neat and i'm glad they talked about that in here um and then i think the rest is the same thing but different languages so people who speak in uh german that's the next one for you okay another thing that's really nice that they included is are these color swatch um pieces of paper so is this for 48 i guess one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, yeah. It, that's really nice of them to include this. This is very, very convenient. Um, especially if you buy like multiple sets of Ohuhu, then what I'm guessing is they all come with something like this, and that way you can put all of these in one place, like in a binder or something, or wherever you want to keep these for reference. And it'll just be like these nice consistent color swatch sets that you can refer to um for all the different colors because you know if you end up buying a lot of colors there are a lot of things to keep track of there's a lot of different shades that are very similar but the subtle differences you know can really affect the vibe of a drawing so having these color swatches is very important for um for traditional artwork i do it with paints um and I do have it for markers as well, actually. I do- I still have, okay, despite the fact that I don't really have my old Ohuhu markers anymore for comparison, I still have the, um, the old color swatch that I did. They did not come with, like, a color swatch back in the day, like, literally, the old 2017 marker set that I got was just the bare minimum of the markers, and that was it in, like, their little bag. Um, so I did make my own color swatch. So these were the colors that I had. So I, I don't know why I still have this. I mean, you know, for reference, right? So I got the 80 color set at the time. Um, so I'll be excited to see how they may compare. You can see that raw umber. I like put a little question mark because it's got this like weird little streakiness to it. It, it was weird. I was pretty um, good with the color inks themselves, at least in the initial period when I was trying them out. I think over time, they dried out a little too fast for my liking. Not all of them. I think some of the markers are drying out. Really, they should belong in the trash, but... So you can even see why wine red here was a little dry to begin with. But um, most of them were pretty good. I didn't have any problem with the colors. So... Um, maybe hopefully they've also improved the formula or something just so that it doesn't dry out as easily okay back to the markers themselves when you open them um you'll see you can see that they are labeled which i am very happy about so let's just take a random one here this is a lovely rv160 thistle thistle this let's get a different one it's easier to say B050 Robin's Egg Blue. Is that, you know, that is a Robin's Egg Blue. I agree. Okay, so let's take a little look here. Like I mentioned, one side here, that is the brush, and the other side is the broad side. Both sides actually are labeled. That is really nice because people can be storing them in different directions, and it's not just like the code. I hate it when like, the companies go halfway and they label just the the code i mean obviously that is better than not labeling at all because that's just like why why would you do that you know when you have like over 100 markers like why would you just not have any labels um it's like nice for when they do label it with just the code but then i'd have to like i don't know i just like having both the name and the, the, the code available it's just more intuitive i like to see what the things are called i can refer, refer to it more easily um it's just it's just nice i like to see how they name the colors okay I, i'm just like that these markers are okay other than the labels here which are very helpful they are completely like rounded shape so not like um you know, some markers, I think, maybe the ones I've tried before are, like, um, kind of flattened on one side, maybe. These are totally round, but 
That would be terrible, right? If they, they were to roll across your desk, fall on the ground, into the trash can. Um, but they do, the caps do have like these little, like little, little flipper wings, little, I don't know. What are these called? These little parts that jut out here to help, I presume, to help make sure that they don't roll. So like, you know, obviously if you're pushing them, you know, they'll still roll. But like, in most cases, if you're just leaving them alone, they'll stop rolling. I think the, uh, the way they do the caps are kind of stylish. Like, they got this little, like, wavy sort of cut to the white parts of the marker for the body and the, the start of the cap. Um, and then the tips are, like, nicely colored here. You'll see this one, Horizon Green. Ooh, like, like, new Horizon- Hey, yo, wait, hold on a second. Wait, this was not on purpose. I just grabbed a random marker and it, like, matches- it matches oh my gosh like i was saying i do like the sort of stylish cut that they have here and it is like a nice um it's not too intrusive and it's not like they're only at the very tip tops because that would be annoying if if the color was only visible from the very ends because then like if you're viewing it from the side then you can't really tell what color it is until you like grab it and look at it and it's like oh okay that's who Hello. you are. Okay. Hi. Makes me think of lipsticks. That's what it reminds me of, doesn't it? I mean, like, literally, like, look at this. Like, that's... That's a lipstick, honey. Anyways, enough of the truth of thoughts. Another detail is that the brush side, which is probably the side that a lot of us would use for, you know, a lot of the more detailed and expressive coloring and drawing parts, like blending and stuff, um... That side has like this little dark gray ring so that it's like very easy to identify because if it didn't have that, like at a glance, you're like picking this up and then you'd have to like read it, ew, reading, to like figure out which side is what. So having this is really nice at glance and I think that's like a, the, a common feature in a lot of like alcohol markers nowadays, but nevertheless, it's a nice attention to detail. From a first impression, I feel like Ohuhu has done a pretty good job at identifying pain points from the previous iterations and seeing like what artists want or what would make things convenient. Okay, bozos. Time to do the first part here. We're going to do some um, swatching here. Okay, now we're done with these swatches, so we can take a little look at them. They are a little bit messy because I was kind of rushing, but um, it does a good job to have everything together in a neat place like this. I guess during the time I was swatching this, I was kind of reminded of an additional thing that I forgot about initially with the old markers I used from Ohuhu, and that was that while most of, them, of the colors are like, they look nice, right? But they, I think there were a few of them that like didn't seem to exactly match like the cap color. And I definitely had the impression this time as well that there were a handful of colors that didn't exactly seem to match what their name or their um, cap color suggested. And you may have seen me during the time lapse, like putting the cap next to color like, hmm? to check like how close it is to the actual color 
And the interesting thing is that it seems to mostly be like a lot of the pinks that are a little bit weird. So let me get, let me, let me grab them. So I, I like put these aside because when I swatched them, I was like, hold on a second. What, what the heck? That were very, um, surprisingly different from what I expected. So let's look at this. This one's called light orange. So that's this one here. Like this one has a little more peachy overtone on the cap that the uh the actual color doesn't seem to be now now the name light orange actually seems to match that color a little bit better and i think my camera might also make things look a little bit weird but you can see maybe like how this one's a little bit like more of a creamy peach than um the slight orange like creamy orange rather than this one i think it was a little bit more apparent when the ink was fresh but um there's still a little bit like a discrepancy there let's try to check another one 180 is that this one okay after some drawings a lot better but this one has more warmth to it than i expected i know there's a couple that were like kind of surprising rv 280 light pink light pink hot pink this one okay yeah this one's very different i was like what the heck like this is like a very bright pink like it's very saturated bright but the the cap color is like definitely more pastel muted like if i were to show you this like it is kind of pastel -y, but i'm not sure like how pastel some of these colors really are even though like when I grab the set here, like these look very pastel. But this one was also very different. Like, do you do you see that? Yeah. And like I mentioned, a lot of these seem to be in like the kind of pinkish range. This one's kind of more for like peach and yellow, but um, most of them are like the pinkish colors. And then it made it reminded me of the fact that this was also the case for um, Tea Rose. For the original set that I tried back in the day, six years ago, it was also like a lot of the um, pinkish colors that were like a little bit off. They did, however, do really well for the most part of making them match the caps, specifically with like all the different grays. So there's a lot of different like neutral cool and tinted grays that match the caps really well i appreciate that you think there's only one gray but you know there's a lot of grays out there and they seem to do well i feel like with a lot of like cooler toned colors so i also put aside like these colors that i thought were like actually pretty really close to the colors that are on here so what is this this one's very close you know to the cap this one very close, I would say. Mm, pale grayish blue, that's a pretty good match, I would say. Again, sorry for the focus. This horizon green, yeah, that's like a pretty good match. So it seems like they're doing pretty well with like blues and greens to like kind of match up. It's like the pinks and a little bit of the purplish like colors are struggling a little bit, but you know, I think that was an issue before as well, and I don't know if, you know, any company does that perfectly as well, but, so it could be a common problem, I'm not sure, but, um, just letting you know, there's some colors that are a little bit misleading in terms of, um, what the actual ink colors are compared to what the cap seems to suggest that they are. Some of these colors actually sounded very familiar to me. And I was wondering if they're like the same as like the stuff from here. So they had a different coating system back in the day. I think they had a similar one for like the grays and stuff, but the other ones are all just, just numbers, which is really hard to find things. I'm really glad that, um, <laughs> The new ones have like a more sane numbering coding system, kind of similar to how like Copic does theirs. It also helped that when I was trying to find the markers for these, it was like reading the code, but also having like a nice readable name lets me like visually like narrow down what which ones I'm picking out from like the entire basket of um, markers there. Again, coming back to the fact that they have both the code and the names on them, 
and I guess having good enough names that it's like intuitive-ish to some extent. Again, struggled a little bit with the pinks, but finding markers for the most part was pretty okay because they were all just mixed together and I was like, eh. I didn't like, I, I thought during the fact that maybe I should have sorted them so that's like more <laughs> streamlined for when I do the, um, the swatching for video so that I'm just not like pausing randomly, but I think it's a little bit more genuine looking back just having them there not organized to see like how well this coding system works but now i'm trying to look at it and i'm like kind of struggling to actually find one that's the same like ignoring the grays for now but like the colors light orange light orange are like kind of different see the light orange there that's actually a little closer to what the cap was here see this old light orange it's still a tiny bit off, but I would say that's reasonably close to like what you would have for like the physical cap color. Yet the light orange on the new one is much more saturated bright orange. And I think, you know, name-wise light orange does match this a little better. The naming confused me back in the day why this was called light orange, but yeah, I don't know. The cap color actually works okay with it. So, um very, very interesting. It does come with an an extra marker that is like a blending marker. So blending markers are just like these markers with alcohol that helps with you blending like two other colors together. And it also comes with a brush and a um, bra chisel side. We will try that for blending later. Um, I'll say overall, everything seemed to come out very nice very juicy color markers so none of them were dry from my impression they were all like coming out okay they were coming out go pikachu come out and get so i'm very glad about that because i would have been very upset if i got these markers set and like some of them were dry that would be that would be terrible. Figuring out what I want to draw, I guess. Have to draw something with the markers.
Oh, okay, yeah, um, I forgot to record an outro, so, uh, thank you so much for watching my review video. Um, I found the markers to be a pretty good improvement overall compared to what the original markers were like six years ago. A lot of improvement in having the choice of brush tips, um, the kind of overall design, some of the, like, I guess the inks were coming out a lot more. Uh, more fluidly than before, which I have like dry markers. I guess time will tell to see how long these will last because they were definitely drying out before like a year in or something. Although some of them again were dry upon arrival. So excited to see how these will hold up. I would say, you know, if you're on a budget, these are definitely pretty worth it compared to Copics, which we all know are like a golden standard, but they are very expensive and I think these now that they have you know these brush tips and these different options for different uh, nib types I think they could be pretty worth it and I didn't do like a whole comparison thing too heavily because this video is already really long and there's definitely a lot of other artists out there that compare them to Copix because they have more experience with Copix, they have a greater collection of them to really compare them. So I would recommend checking other videos out for that, but from what I can see and what I've seen others uh, say about them, it's, it's a pretty, pretty good choice over Copix, surprisingly. So um, yeah, thanks for watching. Um, if you're interested, you can check out some links in my description. Oh, who did send me these markers to review. But everything that I've said, and all the content in my video is just of my own choice and my own opinions. Like, they didn't even tell me what to cover. So, <laughs> I, I don't think they would have liked uh, the part I had in the beginning about them belonging trash. But that was old them. This is the new them. The new makeover them. So, yeah. Don't forget to subscribe, comment if you'd like to say something nice or, you know, something random. And uh, I will see you next time. Bye!